self-adjusting clutch. I've got my, I borrowed a uh, self-adjusting clutch kit and uh, this tutorial it's just for me to discover myself and this is an old clutch I'm using an old clutch I'm not going to, my new one's installed in there not absolutely correctly and I'm going to have to reinstall it and I'll show you that as well I'm trying to work out this mechanism here we can reset it with a resetting tool that's the point let me set it up okay I've got my fly, old flywheel underneath clutch plate inside clutch cover on top I haven't got my clutch mounting bolts there on there screwed in three of these because since I've got six bolts screwed in three of these that the right ones at the right size and you lay this because I've got three you lay the, th the treble armed armature on top secure and really I'm really interested in the spring here I'll try and zoom in on that Okay, so just trying to discover what's going on. These springs here tells you how worn your clutch is when you're taking it off, if you haven't taken the cover off. If it's here where this one is, it's an old clutch. If it's a new clutch, this spring should be compressed all the way back to this second notch. Right, so I'll install it further. So I've got the arm. Um, Ready to wind down onto the uh, the teeth there, so I'm gonna wind down and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. Okay, so really I'm looking, I'm focusing on the springs, the spring area. And I'm trying to discover what's going on as well. Just pushing the teeth down. In theory, if I look through the um, holes here, where the where the other screws would go, the other bolts would go, as that distance shortens, that's when I should stop. So the clutch can be pressed into the. To be honest, it's very really hard to see what's going on down there. Right, kind of stopped. My guess is there's very little tension on the clutch itself now. So this is when you duplicate, put your foot down, so it should be disengaged. Now it's got to work out where to put this caliper. Okay, it looks like a, a good tip would be to install these, these uh, struts onto uh, opposite to where the spring is, because it's quite difficult to attach it, if it was if I, the way I placed it. So, here's the spring, I'll try and attach this now and see what happens when I uh, open it up. This um, clutch resetting tool is actually quite weak, when I was putting it in there, as I was turning it, it was bending it, um, so I had to be careful. I did manage to move this on its own once I compressed it. You can push this back and it does reset, I think, because the clutch is worn. That, um, you can't push it back all the way with a new clutch, you, you, you could. Okay, so that's the testing done. I don't really do it. Okay, here's a new clutch. Um, there's a bulging end. And this one flatter end. Uh, this side, as you can see, 
it's got like a sticky out thing and the original clutch looked like that, it didn't have a bulging in on the Ford Mondale. Uh, but if you look at it carefully, you've got to really look on this side, it says right there, flywheel side, and that's good enough for me. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grease it up, a little bit of grease, and grease the spindle on the um, transmission end as well, wipe off excess grease. Now uh, this clutch kit, LUC, LUK clutch kit did not come with um, fitting tool and also didn't come with grease so I think I'm going to use the LM grease it's thicker I think because this thing will be spinning um, so I think I could use that perhaps a tiny smidge of anti-seize tiny tiny smidge because I don't want it seizing up I know that sort of grease seizes up also in my flywheel there's no pilot bearing, although I've got all the fittings to fit pilot bearing, I haven't got pilot bearing to fit into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do it by eye. I'm going to have to put this in with uh, something to hold it with um, this tool. Just hold it by eye. Once I've got it centered, I'm going to put three nuts in, three bolts in, and just hold it there. Then I'm going to put the... the, the, the um, the compression tool in the special tool. I'll show you that in a minute. Once I grease it up. Okay, so uh, I've done this took me quite a while to center it. So I loosely put the, the, the plate in there, three three bolts, tightened it with this, held it in place, just so just loosened, just kept one of them slightly tight and then loosened it I kept moving around by tapping it oh, that was quite, quite good and tiny little movement, it's very difficult to get dead centre I'm looking straight in there I'm lining up the, the teeth of the, the shaft with the, the inside diameter and that's what really counts, I'm pretty sure of it and I've kept the, the bolts in there because I haven't got that pilot bit in the centre Okay, I'm, I'll put these in there, these struts, and I'm going to put the tool on in just a second. Just going to do a little bit of cleaning up, it's a bit mucky in there. So the tool is on, it's all flush, finger tight, it's all finger tight. And as I turn this, the central shaft will press on the teeth. And you might even be able to see the springs changing. So, nice pattern stop. I'm watching the spring. Give a bit of zooming in on there. The Titan. I will put my flywheel locking tool. And I'm watching this spot right here. And it's getting smaller. And the springs are not, not widening, which is good because it's a new cut. Just need a little bit of confidence out. But what I do think is the clutch is going to drop without that sending tool. Out. Perhaps it's going to be sent it afterwards. Spring is removed down. Checking there's a space just there and watching that space. Fully expect the clutch to just go clunk and drop. So it's the perfect to make the center. Touched it now. 
The springs and some rain compress. Is it because it's a new clutch? I'm not sure. Because the other one, the springs are bouncing out. Press that in now. Now, we need to that. Tighten these bolts. These will really go in there. And if that clutch has dropped, at least these springs have popped up. down to I think 29 newton meters. Now, now I've done that. I'm release. Will this work? Nothing can stroke for us. It's worked. It stayed in the same place. If I was bored out, I'll do a high five. High five. Like and subscribe, please.